Welcome to A-Level Physics, looking at electromagnetic waves. Alongside this video, you may want to look at my lesson on waves and reflection, refraction and polarisation. This lesson, we will be looking at what electromagnetic waves are, the properties of each wave of a particular frequency, and we will also explore polarisation. This may be new to some, and just a recap lesson for other people. All of the waves in the electromagnetic spectrum are oscillating electric and magnetic fields. These fields are perpendicular to each other, as this diagram shows. Electromagnetic waves can be produced by oscillating electrons in a conductor, which sets up the alternating fields. Likewise, the waves can be detected as the fields will cause electrons to oscillate in a conductor. This is the basic principle behind the production and transmission of radio waves. All of the waves in the electromagnetic spectrum travel the same speed in a vacuum at 300,000 km per second or 671 million miles per hour. They can be reflected, refracted, diffracted and polarised and they are all transverse waves. Electromagnetic waves or radiation it's a form of energy that can travel through empty space and includes visible light. It also includes gamma rays, which can cause radiation sickness by damaging cells, and radio waves, which are vital for wireless communication technologies. The wavelengths of each wave can be vary enormously. Gamma rays have tiny wavelengths, often smaller than an atom while radio waves can be thousands of kilometres across. We only see a small part of the electromagnetic spectrum. Visible light spanning the rainbow of colours from violet to red. Visible sunlight passes through the Earth's atmosphere and reflects off objects, allowing us to see them. And many insects, fish and birds can also see ultraviolet radiation, which attracts bees to flowers. Gamma rays are much more penetrating and can pass through several centimetres of lead. It is important that you are able to remember the different parts of the electromagnetic spectrum and their properties. So I have organised two tables explaining the main properties of each wave. And here they are. So. First, we look at gamma rays, x-rays, ultraviolet and visible light. Okay, these are all in order. So, the production of a gamma rays, emitting during a radioactive decay, uses, medicine and chemotherapy, hazards, causes cancer by damaging cells, wavelength in meters, times 10 to the minus 12, frequency in hertz, times 10 to the 20th, and photon energies in electron volts, is 400k. X-rays, production, produced by firing electrons at a metal target. Uses, medicine for looking at bones. Hazards, causes cancer by damaging cells. Wavelength, times 10 to the minus 10. Frequency, times 10 to the 18th. And photon energies, 4k. Ultraviolet, emitted by the sun. Uses, tanning, Hazards can cause skin cancer. Wavelength times 10 to the minus 8. Frequency times 10 to the 15th. And photon energy is 4. And then visible light is emitted by the sun. Uses is seeing. Hazards intense light can damage your sight. Wavelength 7 times 10 to the minus 7 to 4 times 10 to the minus 7. Um, wavelength. Um, yeah, that's the wavelength. Frequency times 10 to the 14th and photon energies 0 0.4. Okay, and then the next table shows us infrared, microwaves and radio waves. So production is emitted by hot objects, uses conventional cooking, hazards can burn, Wavelength times 10 to the minus 5, frequency times 10 to the 12th, and photon energies for mu. Microwaves, produced by changing current in a conductor. 
uses microwave cooking and communications hazards can burn wavelength times 10 to minus 3 to times 10 to minus 2 frequency times 10 to the 10th and photon energies 40 mu and finally radio waves with the longest wavelength produced by changing currents in a conductor communication and media for uses hazards currently not considered to be hazardous Wavelength times 1, frequency times 10 to the 8th, 2 times 10 to the 10th, and photon energies 4. Okay, we are now going to look at the concept of polarisation, which is repeated more or less the same in my video on reflection, refraction and polarisation, which is found in my electricity and magnetism playlist. Okay, certain types of transverse waves, most notably light and other forms of electromagnetism, are capable of oscillating in a variety of different orientations. In other words, two waves emanating from the same source will not necessarily oscillate in the same plane. A wave's polarisation is a measure of the angle of its oscillation. In the case of an electromagnetic wave, it is the orientation of the wave's electric field component. However, the phenomenon, phenomenon is complex. A wave's polarisation can be changed in an electromagnetic field or even rotate as it travels through space. Polarisation is a useful property because it can reveal information about an original light source or the structure of a material that it is reflected from or passing through. Polaroid filters, in which parallel crystals from a grill that only allows through the component of light orientated in the one direction, allow light with different polarizations to be selected and studied. And here is a diagram showing this. Okay, so number one shows that unpolarised light naturally oscillates in multiple planes. Number two shows the polaroid filter acts as a narrow grill through which only correctly aligned components of light waves can pass. And number three shows emerging polarised light oscillating in just one plane.